Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Ducky the Gamer back again with another video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are not going to be talking about Fortnite Mobile. Instead, we are going to be talking about the potential release and in my opinion, the definite release of uh, Call of Duty Mobile sometime in the future. So a lot of leaks and a lot of information have dropped in the last few days and weeks. So I'm going to be going over all the leaks, the videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, how the game is going to run and also the potential release date and what people are thinking of when this game will drop or could drop uh for everyone you know a global release or at least a beta so people can start playing the game so call of duty i don't know if you guys know uh, is a really big first person shooter i think it is the biggest multiplayer like first person shooter out there as you guys know fortnite is third person and pubg is also third person so call of duty is the biggest first person shooter um in the world it has been like that for such a long time i think you know battlefield is another first person shooter but call of duty for the most part a lot of people know this game is now if you guys just look at the recent trends in the past you know few months and around a year you've seen a lot of games come to mobile you have ros rules of survival that was the first big game pubg came to mobile and it's basically blown up there's a competitive scene there's actually a tournament being hosted for six hundred thousand uh, dollars because of how well that game has been doing and then fortnite mobile i think there's numbers been thrown around that already a hundred million dollars has been made for fortnite so it's not out of the realm of possibilities that call of duty is looking at all the success from mobile games and thinking to themselves that they should probably get in on the action of all this money all this you know, extra publicity and all the new players that could come to the game just by adding it on mobile so um i think it is extremely extremely possible and very probable that call of duty will be coming to mobile within the next one to two months i know on the discord and twitter uh that people were talking about you know early 2019 just to make sure that there's no glitches and you know the anti-cheat is really good and on that note of things i did get all this information uh from a twitter and a discord so that will be linked down in the description if you guys want to check out all these sources for yourself then feel free to uh, but getting into the videos and getting into the leaks the first one we have is a gameplay of somebody playing on the map cruise ship but this map is actually called hijacked on black ops 2 uh, if you guys never played that game this is what it's called so just off the bat you can see a few things one it looks like there will be a customizable hud because this looks extremely similar to the way pubg mobile works at pubg mobile you can move around every single button on the screen to make sure that you guys can have a good gaming experience and play to the best of your abilities so to me it looks like we're going to have sort of a customizable hud and then also the bottom of the screen you can see the the layout sort of your inventory that also looks very similar to PUBG Mobile. So I'm assuming that this studio, whoever's making the game, is going to take a lot of ideas off of PUBG Mobile because of how, how well it honestly runs and how well it works. So I, if you guys have ever played PUBG Mobile before, then it's pretty much going to be PUBG Mobile, but multiplayer. And uh, also... From this video, we can grab that in the top right-hand corner. You can see that this is a multiplayer map, and this is not Blackout. So, when I first heard of Call of Duty being leaked and released on mobile, I was thinking Blackout, you know, we're going to get some Battle Royale games. But instead, I think Call of Duty is going to be taking the route of going multiplayer and maybe Blackout or Battle Royale uh, for their mobile game. So, uh, Call of Duty... Out of any other game mode, multiplayer has always been their bread and butter. A lot of people have enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed it myself. I've been playing it for such a long time. So if they release some nostalgic maps and nostalgic games for mobile, I think that would draw in a lot of old fans and honestly a lot of new fans for multiplayer. So PUBG Mobile is a battle royale. Fortnite is a battle royale. And ROS is a battle royale. So this would be the first, I think, first person shooter of this size to come as a multiplayer game. So it'd be really different. I would definitely enjoy playing it because it'd be super, super fun. As a mobile game to play some multiplayer instead of grinding battle royales all day um, but let's go ahead and continue on with the video so as you can see he's just running around the map and not doing much uh, the graphics actually look really good with the shadows this map looks properly designed and properly made so it looks like whoever's making this studio is really going to be taking their time and making sure that this is a proper game and not something just thrown together to make some easy money. So um, I think if done right, this could be really big for Call of Duty and honestly the mobile mobile gaming scene in general because mobile games have been exploding within the past year. Clash Royale has been blowing up and then all the other you know battle royales I've been listing have been doing really, really well on mobile. So I think Call of Duty, if done right on mobile, could definitely draw in a lot of new fans. So the next video we're going to be taking a look at is something that confirms my suspicion right off the bat customizable hud so in this gameplay you could see that in the top uh top left hand corner of the screen the buttons have been moved around so uh the buttons have been moved around they've been made larger and then also other features the zoom in button or the aim in button my bad and the fire button have also been changed so uh this confirms that there will be a customizable hud 
in Call of Duty Mobile. Basically, customizable HUDs are the new industry standard for any first person shooter because you know people's hand sizes are different, people play different styles. So making sure people can uh, play properly according to their play style is definitely something crucial when it comes to a game like this. So customizable HUDs have been confirmed, and that actually in this gameplay, the person gets kills, and you can see sort of how it's going to look. So that right there. Like this, it kind of surprisingly looks extremely, extremely like real Call of Duty. Even though the quality of this video is really bad, the graphics, the mechanics of the game, it's looking really nice, guys. So um, this also reminds me of Call of Duty Online, uh, a free Call of Duty game that was released to the Chinese and to the Asian market, I think around a year ago. Uh, it blew up. A lot of people were enjoying that game just for fun because it was free and sort of cartoonish. So this reminds me a little bit of Call of Duty Online. If you guys have ever seen that or ever played with it, then you have an idea. So kill cams are in this game. Uh, the, the graphics, the mechanics, it's, it's all looking really good and it's all looking very, very promising. So let me get into some of the really, really really hardcore leaks in terms of this game now on this discord server there were a few screenshots posted of uh, developers and workers for call of duty mobile on their i think maybe linkedin page or basically a page explaining where they work and what they do so uh, the first one we have jesse america lead producer call of duty mobile at king activision so i think king is going to be the studio uh you know spearheading this operation for call of duty mobile if it is then i have i have never heard of them honestly i'm not too familiar with all the producers and developers at mobile games uh, but they seem to be doing a really good job just from what i've seen so jesse this person works at call of duty mobile uh, the next person is johan Lud lundmark principal game designer at king call of duty mobile so it looks like king like i said is going to be the main uh, producer designer of this game once again call of duty mobile uh, then we got Johan Lundmark. I think it's the same guy. Yeah, same guy, but his Twitter page. Principal game designer at King working on Call of Duty. The next guy, Joylin Webb, senior art director, Call of Duty Mobile at King Activision. So it looks like uh, it's coming to mobile, guys. Like if you have people putting on their work profiles, their Twitter bios that they are working at King uh, associated with Activision, and they're also working on Call of Duty Mobile, it looks pretty confirmed. So, I believe one of the only downsides of this release is that it's going to be pushed to the Chinese, mainly at launch. So, PUBG Mobile, it was the same thing. It went to the Chinese. They basically playtested it for about one to two weeks. You can actually get away around that. Uh, whenever the game comes out, I'll probably make a tutorial on how to get, you know, Call of Duty, even though you guys won't be located, you know, in China. Uh, but the same thing happened with PUBG Mobile. It was released in China for around two weeks and then went full-blown uh beta in america then it went worldwide release so um that probably is going to happen here just to make sure that the game runs smoothly there's no glitches and that everyone in you know china and asia that they'll be enjoying the game and playing it and giving you know good feedback for the developers to make sure that they can properly design the game and fix any you know bugs and glitches before a worldwide launch so that's probably going to be the only downside in terms of call of duty on mobile when it first comes out is that it's going to be uh mainly for the chinese and asians at first but then as all mobile games do they they end up going through beta and then most likely uh they will get publicly launched so when i get more information on call of duty mobile i will definitely make a follow-up video for this or if i get more videos and i get more leaks in terms of you know screenshots and gameplay i'll definitely make a follow-up video in the next week or two maybe month depending on you know how fast this moves along but like i said before people who are posting these leaks they're assuming that it will come out early 2019 or maybe late 2018 so either december or january is when we can possibly be expecting call of duty on a mobile and once again this is a multiplayer game instead of battle royales which every other game has been you know focusing towards pubg mobile battle royale for mobile battle royale uh call of duty seems to be taking the direction of a multiplayer which is really interesting and hopefully it will work out for the best so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and drop a like if you're super excited for call of duty on mobile let me know in the comment section below uh, if you're going to be playing it or you're going to be at least testing it out when it comes out also let me know um other than that guys it is been a boy duck of the gamer and i will see you guys in the next video peace